friends welcome back to part 4 of Kotlin tutorial in this video I will show you how you can work with uh, when condition in Kotlin so let's get started in the previous video we have learned how you can work with uh, how we can work with uh, if condition in this video uh, I will show you how you can work with when when is as like a switch okay when is as like a switch you just type when and here put your value for example 100 for example a a f was hundred f f was one hundred then here is a lambda expression print len at is one hundred okay and then here you have else as like as default Example does not exist. Now, if I run uh, this A, which uh, means 10,000, 10, if match this case, it will print this block. Okay? Otherwise, it will print this block now this block will be printed does not exist you can have here any string for example hello if it was hello print it is hello if it was true you can print it is true if it was false you can print it is false or you can put here you can put here f it is null then you can print something here print ln it is null okay now if I change this to an string hello then this will print it okay as you can see it is hello if I make this true then this statement will print it okay if you have multiple statement for example print hello world uh, print ln hi it is okay now as you can see here uh, uh, some problem uh, appears okay if you put semicolon also uh, this have some problem so 
what is the way to solve this let's see if I put here some block and then I put this inside this block and I enter this as you can see this works nice if you have multiple statement you just put here a bracket okay and instead of a single statement now if I run this two statement will print it perfect it works pretty well so if I have this for example boolean they fa found some problem what is the this problem this problem is now we specify the variable type so a is just can have true or false so here was uh, here found some problem because this case one is not a boolean value and this case two are not a boolean value so here you just can have any okay also if you remove this uh, it cannot be accepted you just can have any now if you have null here again here is some problem okay because a cannot have a null value so if you want to make a null value for, uh, if you want to assign a null value for a so you should put here a question mark as you can see a accept null value by helping this question mark run again this will print it it is null okay it is null if this was var it is not problem it is not a problem okay if this if this was var and this was false again here is no problem okay but if you have if you have another uh, another case here for example um, for example B friend Ellen at a at as by variable okay at as by variable now if I make a variable B where B type string is equal to love now here is as you can see no problem if I make this love so there is no problem it is by variable okay if I make this well also there is no problem but in Java when uh, we match a case value uh, uh, would be final but here is not necessary it is final or not 
this will this was a when uh, thank you for your watching and see you in the next video goodbye